Next person has a special place in my heart. I don't even know if he knows that, but he does. Gino Ford. Gino Ford, the son of legendary Cambridge High School basketball coach Gene Ford, was inducted to this very Hall of Fame in 2018. Gino is hands down one of the toughest guards the state of Ohio has ever produced. Gino is a self-described, I'll say self-described, unwilling passer. He said that. He said that. Gino scored a staggering 2,680 career points at Cambridge High School. That's, that number still ranks fourth all time in Ohio high school basketball behind these three names. John Diebler, 3,208 points. Luke Kennard, 2,977 points. And Jay Burson, 2,958 points. In 1993, Gino won Ohio Mr. Basketball. Gino went on to play collegiately at Ohio University for Larry Hunter and started 113 out of 123 games for the Bobcats, leading the team in scoring as a junior and a senior. In his career at OU, Gino scored 1,752 points and averaged 14 points and connected on 80% of his three throws and 37% of his three-pointers. Gino has served as head coach as, at in-state schools, Shawnee State, Muskingum, and Kent State, before spending four years as head coach at Bradley and five years at his current position, Stony Brook. Gino was named Mid-American Coach of the Year while at Kent State in 2010 and 2011. In 2004, Gino was named to the Ohio Valley Athletic Conference Hall of Fame. 2008, he was named to Ohio University Athletics Hall of Fame. And as I mentioned, I'm also proud to say we both played and were captains for the late great Coach Hunter. Please join me in welcoming Gino Ford to the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame. A uh, little unique for me to follow uh, Joe, who was a fantastic official and Norris, who was just an incredible player. Uh, I never won a game when either of them were in the arena. Uh, <laughs> so um, I was at Kent, not smart enough to offer Norris a second scholarship. But uh, I wasn't very lucky when it came to height or physical gifts, uh, but I was very lucky uh, in, in, in a few other ways. And um, you know, I grew up basically at Muskingum College. Uh, coach Burson, uh, you know, Hall of Fame coach. Uh, coached my dad, coached my uncle. My uncle was his assistant. I went to more Division Three games uh, than probably anybody from age zero up until age 18. And, uh, you know, I, I can remember being 12 years old, being taught how to pick up the ball in traffic. And, and in all honesty, if you don't have those habits, when you don't have any size or athleticism, you're probably not going to be any good. So I appreciate that, that, that those teachings helped me along the way. Uh, then I went to Cambridge High School, which was, in our small town, uh, it was like being on the Lakers. Uh, the whole town was there every Friday night. Uh, Tuesday night, it was packed. It was all we cared about. Uh, you know, you can still kind of, if you close your eyes, hear that gym and just kind of get goosebumps. Um, then I went to Ohio University and played for Coach Hunter, which another Hall of Fame coach. Uh, and if I really was to boil the whole thing down, the three coaches that had the biggest impact on me, Coach Burson, my dad, Coach Hunter, all Hall of Fame coaches. And that's how, as a player, you get better. You learn to listen. All three of those guys uh, only really valued toughness and effort. Luckily, uh, none of them uh, were too big on size or speed, so I survived all of that. But um, I do want to quickly thank my wife, who has put up with 30 uh, basketball seasons. Holy crap. I mean, we're getting old. Uh, but 30 years of coaching and playing and moving all over the place. And, uh, you know, the, the game has given me far more than I will ever give it. So uh, we continue to, to, to drive and try to give back and, and, and be a part of it in any way uh, that we can now in coaching. And I really hope that one day I have an impact on any of our players at the level that the guys that I grew up in impact in my, my career and my life. So thanks so much, and it's great to see so many today, and this microphone smart is telling me to shut it up. So, <laughs> hey, fantastic. Thank you.